Okay, although there are a lot of things that we can critique about this video, there are three things that I want to really discuss, and I don't do it with the intention to make this trooper in this video feel bad. I do it with the intention to make sure that we are reminded of the dangers of this job and how we can be prepared when we encounter something like this. Number one, I'm not going to critique the approach. What I want to say about an overall approach on a traffic stop is you have to treat every motor vehicle stop as if you are going to die and you'll live. And what that means is you don't have to draw your gun and point it every single time. It means keep in mind that this may turn into something that you just saw. So how are you going to approach every traffic stop? And my suggestion is as stealthy as possible. If you can keep them guessing on a traffic stop of where you are on this traffic stop, it may sound crazy, but it's actually possible. This doesn't give them a target to lock onto and to shoot at. These may be the second that you need to take a tactical advantage in a situation like this that may save your life. 517, I'm hit. He went southbound 21st Avenue. Number two, you see in this video, this trooper has to run back to his truck to get his tourniquet that's found in the mat pocket of the door. Really, really bad idea. Your tourniquet should be somewhere on your body, typically center mass. God forbid one of your arms gets shot, where one of the other arms can get to it, remove it, and apply it. Unfortunately, we have crucial seconds in a situation like this where we have the ability to apply a tourniquet that might save your life. So yeah, it might be uncomfortable, but it must be on your person center mass. You might say there's no more room left on your vest or your belt. You gotta figure it out. This is one of those important things. That's why we talk about keeping an IFAC kit with you at all times for a situation like this. Even 10 feet off the front of this car was a lot of time to get back to that truck to find that tourniquet. God forbid it wasn't where it was supposed to be. We wouldn't have had the tourniquet available to apply in a situation like this. You hit? Yeah, where my you hit? leg, my left leg, my left leg, my left where's leg. Your, where's your, where's your... 517. It's gonna be a Hispanic male. Yeah. White shirt, black baseball cap. Look, early to mid 20s. Yeah. You got your body camera on? In the vehicle. You okay? You okay? Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay, stay with me, stay with me. You're all right, I got you. And stay with me, bro. Stay with me. Stay with me. Let me see, let me see. Add 130. Gunshot to the left leg, he's in and out of consciousness. Roll me fire ASAP, please. Number three, you're gonna see the officer who helps him at the end does a very good job. However, you can see how long he's waiting for radio communications to cease so that he can get on the air and let them know what he needs. In a situation like this, where there's a police officer shot or anytime there's something significant going on, you need to employ radio discipline. Switch to the other channels and talk to dispatch through that. Unless it's completely necessary for you to be tying up the air, let's not tie up the air. Let's monitor radio traffic, employ discipline, and leave it open and available for the most emergent information at that time. I can't tell you how many times we've watched videos where a police officer may have been shot or needs assistance or needs to get out important information right away and they can't get on the air because everybody else is tying up the airwaves. Stay off the air at all times unless ultimately necessary. Nobody cares that you want to play cops and robbers and be on the walkie-talkie all the time. Stop. Employ discipline and act professional. Use your brains. This is not a game out here. And stop treating it like it is. I just want to remind you, I'm not here to critique what this police officer did or what these police officers did in this video and say anything bad about it. There's a lot of good stuff done. There's a lot of good radio communication a lot of good information given out, and I've made every mistake under the sun, on duty, off duty. I'm saying my job is to recognize how we can do this better and remind all of you how dangerous this job is so you don't die in the line of duty. That was the point of this video. Don't think of it any other way.